So just have it on your Twitter. Hey, what's up, Duranker? We just went live on Google Hangouts. Hey, what's up, Duranker? Yep. Let me just turn the volume down. Listen, I'm going to call you back and get your side of the story in just two seconds. We've just got to get people here. Okay. See it. Man, a lot of crazy stuff going on, Blade. I Catch me up. What exactly happened? I am not 100% sure. Well, um, what do you know? Hey, you're not on the screen. I know. Uh, bear with us. Two seconds. Guys, we are live now on Google Hangouts. I'm sorry. We just, uh, for all this, those of you that are waiting here, link to the, to the just uh, bear with us two seconds because uh, I'm going to tweet it right now. Let's see. Copy. Oh, okay. Okay. Bam. Bam. All right. So, eight comments. Guys, everyone like this. Hit the share button um, so it goes to your Twitter and Facebook uh, so we can get out there. So this is basically the craziness is that that took place that I know of, okay? Duranker, um, for those of you that know him, I guess he was going after Wings of Redemption. Okay. You know what they were saying? Like, what was what was the what was it going after about? I don't know, dude. I don't know. I missed this part. I missed this part of the story. Um, so somehow Duranker went after Wings of Redemption, and then uh, El Presidor jumped in. The two were battling. El Presidor doesn't give a fuck. I love that about him. That's awesome. He he doesn't care. So. After that happened, after that happened, um, Wings said something about he doesn't care. He's, can you read that one? Because I, I don't know where you yeah, found I'll, it. Yeah, I'll do some. Actually, uh, I'm going to probably have to look at the El Presidor tweet. Oh, just died. Awesome. Okay. So El Presidor has it somewhere because he just tweeted it at me. Um, just look up El Presidor. Just click on El Presidor. Okay. Right there. I got it. So let's see, El Presidor. El Presidor has been tweeting like a madman. He probably has a thousand tweets out. So uh, let's see, he retweeted me there. I'm just looking for... So basically the gist of it is that D-Ranker was going at Wings, and during the whole him going at Wings thing, El Presidor jumped in. Mm -hmm. And so obviously El Presidor is going to say what's on his mind. He doesn't give a fuck. Wings, I'm assuming Wings got sensitive about it. I don't know. I don't know. Don't, don't fucking quote me on that, but I'm just going. We're trying to get to a pitch right now, so just bear with us, guys. Um, so we're trying to say, see exactly what Wings said. He said something about he'll go and kill himself or something. Yeah, he, it actually did say that. He said something about driving down. And like suicide by police, and like he doesn't give a fuck about lawyer money because he'll probably end up killing himself. Uh, don't quote me on that, but that's like the gist of what I saw. Shit got crazy, so we've invited everybody to come on. Uh, you had a U turn in the street. Like, we literally, like, I came to his house, okay. we had like a meeting, and it was like, okay, let's talk tomorrow, let's like do some trampolines or something for the Megan show. And then you call me up. I feel like it's fucking newsroom right now. <laughs> it's yellow alert. No, no, it just went red. It just went red. <laughs> yeah, um, Twitter level yellow. <laughs> so, you know, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you know that I'm always on top of all the drama that goes on between commentators and all that. And I do this series on Twitter called uh, Drama Alerts, brought to you by DJ Keemstar. Like the other night, uh, Optic Midnight got in a fight with a dyke, and, you know, I put out a drama alert, let everyone know that this battle was going on. Where did that happen? Uh, I don't know. Some some dyke was calling, uh, I don't know if dyke's the correct term, but she, like, had a boy cut, haircut. But uh, anyhow, this dyke was calling Optic Midnight a nerd, and, uh, you know, I just put it out there, and those two were battling a little bit. But the thing is, is I was gone all day, I come home, and out of no, my whole Twitter's like blown up. You're missing all the drama. You're missing the fight. El Presidor 
and I thought it was going to say Thunder because El Presidor and Thunder like battle so much that I don't even. I saw them battle like earlier today, like like probably during when the Bills game was going on. I saw them kind of battle. When El Presidor and and fucking Thunder battle, I don't even report that news anymore. I stop <laughs> reporting it. Because, you know, people are like, okay, Keemstar, you just reported this five minutes ago, you know? <laughs> so uh, so it's all blown up with El Presidor, and it's El Presidor and Wings, and, like, I got, like, 50 tweets. And I'm like, what is going on? Can I just say something, Wings? This is YouTube, man. This is this is YouTube. Like, you, you, you're taking it too seriously. It's not, it's not that serious. We're not, like, composers of orchestras and... Like, we don't, like, this is cool and shit like that, but, like, it's fucking cool. What is, there we go. Here we go. We there just we pulled go. it up. So. Go for it. I think, okay, let's go from the bottom. Go ahead, read. Um, so, Jordy, Jordan, uploaded a video. Someone noticed me on YouTube. Oh, game four, whatever. Um, Jordy said to Bad Sniper, yeah, and last week I spent all night doing my million video. Who cares? Um, this is where it gets good. He says, I've got a load of guns, El Presador, and if I decide to kill myself, I'm taking you with me. You see that? I'm reading, I'm reading this to make sure. Could that be... Is, is that really what he said? Like, Could that be like... Mis no, that's the exact same one that he... That, uh, that's the real one. That's the real one because that's when El Presador tweeted. It's the same exact picture. Wings, you know you can't say that. You can't even like think that out loud. You can't even like say that shit by yourself in the bathroom. That's some. That's in just insane. Absolutely insane. Uh, Wings wants in. Wings is saying that he wants in. That's what I'm seeing here. Let's see if I got a tweet from Wings. Does Wings have your Skype? Wings has my Skype, and I actually uh, called Wings, but he hung up. Uh, let's let's call Wings now. Let's see what's going on. We're calling Wings on a mobile device right now. Uh, and he hung up. Okay, so I'm going to just tweet, or I guess I'll send Wings the... We are live here. Now, see, White Boy's got involved, because White Boy... Um, yeah, white boy. You want to call white boy? Yeah, and get, yeah, yeah, let's yeah, find out what yeah. white boy has to say about it. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna get white boy a ring. We're gonna see if uh, white boy has an opinion on the matter, because I know him and wings were were going to battle. Wings said he to Google. We're on Google. We're, 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 we could just call people on Skype. Hi, hi. Give me two seconds. Okay. All right, all right. Hello? Hey, what's up, white boy? We're live, just so you know. We are live on the Bad yeah. Kids show right now on the Google Hangouts. So we kind of wanted to get your opinion on the drama. Oh, it, okay, there are some things you can do for views, but this, I, this is low. This is like shaggy new. This is... This is disrespectful for any Call of Duty commentator. I'm I'm ashamed to be in the same boat as Wings. I want to fucking jump off that boat. I don't want to be in a community that you... Suicide is serious. It's not a fucking joke to joke about suicide. You're right. Um, he did it for attention. That's what a fucking 13-year-old emo chick does. You don't fucking do Wings. It's... Oh, it, it really got me mad. Can we... Do you, hey, I do lost you have, all do respect have, for Wings. Since you, okay, the only thing that... Damn. Wings did a lot. He's, he's, he's going in and out. Hello? Hey, by, by, uh, by any chance, do you have Google Hangouts? No. Let me, let me log on to stay about my computer. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Just hit us back up. So, guys, White Boy 7th Street is going to go on the computer... And uh, we're going to get his opinion on the situation. This is just insane that has went this far. So um, there was a little bit of a battle between White Boy 7th Street and Wings as well. Yeah, he has to use Google Hangouts. He's getting kicked off when he's on Skype. Okay, so we're bringing Wings in on Google Hangouts. Uh, we're going to need to... Uh, we need to... We tell... How can he get us the information? Wings of Redemption, please DM us. 
And we have White Boy next, or are, are on here. Uh, but Wings of Redemption, please DM me your Google Hangouts information uh, if you're trying to get on here. Oh, bam, bam, got perfect. it. Perfect. Thank got you. It. Thank you, Wings. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm saying Wings got away with a lot of stuff during his his run on YouTube, and that's because I care about Wings. I like Wings. I'm sure all the viewers do as well. I like I can relate to him. I like I have a person like a, a personal relationship with him. You know, I, I can feel him. I can understand him. Mm -hmm. And that's why I got away with so much stuff. But faking it, crying wolf, I I lost it. I lost it for him. No longer will I have any sympathy for him. Any any problems he goes to because I don't know personally if he's got to, if he's faking that for views now right. or if if it's a stunt because his monthly quota is, is low. I. I can't trust him anymore. Yeah, um, that is some that's some crazy stuff. I I can't believe that it it, it escalated that far. Now, do you know? Were you following? Because we weren't here earlier. Do you know? Do you know? Happen to know why it went so um, so crazy? Like, how did the whole thing start? Well, Wings was talking about his views being low, like like he always does. Um, he was talking about that on Twitter. And then, um, like the sub boxes weren't working, and and then it just—I don't know what happened. El Presidor was like, "You're a clown, you mad or something," and then Wings just took off. And I think you had the tweets. I think I actually got a, a screenshot uh, of them. Uh, give me a second. That's um, that's just insane. That it, it, it's went to this level. That should be. I, I've got a lot of guns, Daniel? El Presidor. If you decide, <laughs> if I decide to kill myself, I'm taking you with me. It's only an eight-hour drive to Ohio. And yeah, that. I don't know. I was fucking angry the whole night. We're we're trying to add wings right now on Google Plus, but it's just not working. He's DM me uh, his Google Hangout thing, but we can't figure out how to get it going. You might have to have him in your circle first. I can't add. How do I add him to my circle? Go to the Google. Plus sorry, sorry about this. Sorry, place. we're we're being rude to uh, our guest here All and right. the people. You can actually invite him here. Put and then put. No, no, no. Delete that. X that out. X that out. And then right here for the name, paste. Okay. And now put the link to the show right here, or the link to the live show. Okay. Share. Um, yeah, but you're not sharing. No, no, no. You shared. You shared his email with himself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do I do? <laughs> hey, wings. In case you forgot, this is your email. Now, now, what am I doing to him? Um, you need to give him the link to the Google Hang. Words. Open up your other window that has okay. the show. Yeah. Now, hey, that link. Okay. That's what he needs. That's what he yeah, needs. Yeah, because nobody has that except for you. Okay, wings. I am sending it right. No, no, no. Put it here. Oops. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, what? You have to, you have to re recopy. There you go. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, Wings, I just sent it to you. There you go, Wings. You gotta check your wall or your mentions on Google Plus, Wings. <sighs> All right. Sorry, White Boy, and uh, sorry for the people out there. Um, I know Google Plus because we've done it a few times. Yeah. But it's never been like this. This is just crazy. Um, there's uh, they must have updated their system and changed a few things. So what I what what I was told is by Duranker, and I guess I can get him on speakerphone, um, that he that he kind of knows how it started. So I'd love I'd love to find out from Duranker uh, exactly what happened. So let me give him a call. I'll put it on speaker. So you have someone on Google Plus, Skype, and a phone. <laughs> yes. Resourceful. I like it. <laughs> We're on the news. Me and him are big fans of a, a show on HBO called Newsroom, and this is like basically what's going on right now. Is that like a series, or is it just it's, like little skits and stuff? It, it's a series. Duranker, are you there? Could you please share with us the story of what happened tonight? How did this all start? on his Twitter or whatever, I still don't know why, but anyway, I do, and he's whining about certain little things and problems he has or whatever, and I just, you know, he's whining about his money and stuff, and I'm like, dude, you know, you make more money than a lot of hard-working Americans, and all you do is complain, 
uh, everybody kind of jumped on board after that. So it started off by you saying you make more money than a lot of hardworking Americans, and people just kind of, uh, you know, dogpiled after that. Yeah, kind of. He replied to me like "fuck you, Duranker," and I don't know. I retweeted it. I thought it was funny. I mean, so then, wrong. I mean, here's the thing. I mean, and, and you're smart, you know, you're gonna have this on on the air or whatever. But you know, I respect what Wayne does. Don't get me wrong. You know, I'm not hating on him. I'm just saying all he ever does is complain. And there, a lot of people have worked a lot more problems than he does. And you know, he makes a lot of his money. He claims he's got all these problems. Yeah, you go to out, buy some drug, say somebody fifteen hundred bucks for a new iPhone and someone can get it for him, you know, complains about health care and shit. But he makes a lot more money than a lot of hard working people. And I don't know, it's just it's just pretty you know, I get kind of offended because, you know, I'm in the you know, I'm in manufacturing, I watch people you know, work hard all day. Well, I mean you're from Ohio and so is uh El Presador. And you know, people people don't make a lot of money. Uh, and like, I don't I don't want to say that, but Ohio, I would say as a state, people struggle a little bit more than than other people. Sure, it's, it's a manufacturing state. I mean, no, all he needs is the link to get in. Yeah, because I know during the presidential election, um, you know, they, they're they're always fighting for Ohio, and the main issue is jobs. You know how it is, man. Ohio goes, how the vote goes, how the electric goes, because it's a, it's, a, it's a working man's state. Right. Um, it, 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 so, a lot of automotive, a lot of manufacturing. Just, you know, and, 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 you know I'm a production supervisor. I'm, I, you know, I, I sit in an office, too. You know, I have an office job, but, you know, I, I see how a lot of hard people work making 10, 12 bucks an hour, and, you know, they raise families on that. This dude's making, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars a month complaining about health care. Where these guys are making three, four hundred dollars a week and gotta pay hundred and twenty dollars out of that a week for their damn health care. Right. It's it's, it's right. a pathetic argument. Okay, That's all right. All right, thank you. Thank you, Duranker. See you, man. Please. All right, so Duranker pretty much said, uh, you know, that's oh, all. Oh, 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 I'm sorry to interrupt you. I remember what Wings was talking about. He was like, I hate my job. It's the worst job in the world, something along those lines. Uh, I hey, hate, to, inter myself hate to interrupt something. you, Alex. Um, everyone out there, we're trying to get Wings in. He wants in. It's not him not wanting in. He Wings. wants in, and we're trying to figure it out. Wings, I DM'd you the link. So if you just click the link that I DM'd you, you should be able to join right from your Twitter DMs. I just sent it to you. You should be able to hop right in from there. So go go ahead, white boy. I'm sorry. What were you saying? Yeah, I remember I remember him tweeting like, "I hate my job. My job sucks. I want to kill myself. It's so depressing." Blah blah blah. Views, 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 and things along those lines. Right. So, so you know, the thing is, that's the thing, because uh, this can be hard. Like, the, the show that we're doing, it actually is hard, but compared yeah. to a 9 to 5. Oh, yeah, way better, way better. <laughs> yeah. You, know, you know what I mean? What? Um, okay. I don't know if that, no. No, 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 that's not it. Okay. Um, okay, here we are here. He has joined. Jordan, oh. he's here. There he awesome. is. Awesome, there we go. There's Wings. There we go, Wings. Wings, just a heads up, we're, we're live right now, so just want to give you clearance to let you know that you are live. It's uh, me and Keem. He just dropped out. Okay. He was just in for a second and dropped out. <sighs> okay. Woody wants to join, really? Woody wants to join? Okay, Woody, uh, follow me, and I will DM you the link, I guess. Cause we're not going to talk about fucking microphones. <laughs> no, we're not going to talk about microphones. <laughs> uh, or, Woody, you can get it from, um, from Wings. From Wings yeah. You know what I think happened? I think somebody DDoSed him yeah. right before he came on. Because I know Wings, Wings uh, usually uh, won't back down or back away from a situation. Oh, yeah, usually he's been trying to get on. Like, yeah. we're, not, we're not saying that at all. Man. I, I know for a fact Wings has been trying to get on. Is um, Woody really trying to get on? Uh, let me look right now. Let me check my Twitter. Uh, yep. 
Yeah, click on Woody's gamer tag just to see his tweets. Uh, if you'd like me to join, yes. Uh, go ahead. Uh, okay, yeah. Go ahead, Woody. Go ahead and uh, I'll s if, send me a DM and then I'll send you yeah, one right this? back. You, if you sign out, I can I can send it I can send it to him because he I know he, he and I follow each other. Well, well he'll, you... he'll send it to me in minutes. Okay. You know. Well, you hear me? Uh, yeah, we can yeah, hear we you. Yeah, we can hear you. Why, get that fucking D ranker guy back in here. Uh, Deranker is only available on Skype. I can oh, bring him on Skype. Bring his phone back in here. Especially with the motherfucker's a production supervisor and he wants to talk shit. Bring his ass back in here. Okay. We're bringing Deranker in right now on via Skype. We got For people that don't know what a production supervisor is, it's basically what you call a line leader. He's a person that walks around with his hands in his fucking pocket and bosses other people around and tells them what to do. I'm pretty sure he's paid his dues, but the way it sounds like he's a fucking drunk that hasn't turned a wrench in eight years. Uh, Deranker, you got some big feedback uh, via Skype. Uh, all right, so basically, uh, Wings is here right now, and he he has something to say about your job. Go ahead, Wings. I told you what it is. You're a, production, you're a production supervisor. You walk around with your hands in your pockets. You probably turned to wrench in eight years, and you want to sit there and talk about gall of working hard. So you have a fucking cake job. Your job is fucking cake. What do you do is you hold your hands in your pocket. You wait till the fucking safety meeting in the morning so you can suck up to some, some fucking big wig's dick. Then you go home and you drink your fucking Miller Lite while it sounds like you're doing. Uh, Wink, Wings, I don't know if you heard him. He said he worked for 12 years before he got that management spot. You worked for 12 years? Oh, my God. It doesn't fucking matter. You don't think I've ever worked? You ever rebuilt a melt furnace? I bet you fucking have it. You ever jack -tack, jackhammered out a fucking furnace after it froze off? I bet you fucking have it. You ever painted a fucking 40-ton crane? What Wings is saying, Dranker? I can barely hear him. He keeps, like, breaking up. Is my mic sounding bad? Dranker, do you have Google Plus? No, actually, I'm just on my phone. I'm actually at work because I have a job. Anyway. Uh, oh, oh, actually at work because you have a job. You know what? I did your fucking job for five years. And you know what? I make more money now than I did at that job in one day of the week than I did. <laughs> But the fact is, the more money you make, the more responsibility you take on. You're also failing to neglect. You're talking about people taking $120 out of their check to feed their family. Look here, son. I have nine people I support. Nine. Not one, not two, not three children. Nine. There's fucking people that want to be in your position. You know how many fucking comments I see in my videos? Check out my videos. I'm an underage slutty commentator. White boy, don't even get me started about you. You're an evil fucking person. I'm, remember when my bayonet video went out? What did you do? You made a Moab Monday video, and you used your favorites and likes to push it out of the comedy section. Are you fucking, fucking Call of Duty video. video? And the only way I could get you to take it down... You stop bitching the about only way I could get you to take it down is actually go over your head and call the boss man. Today that was in comedy. You know why? Because I think I'm a funny commentator. My fans think I'm a funny it's commentator. It's gameplay. It doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter what... It's not like it's pets and animals. It's fucking comedy. It's and, you, fucking and you're comedy. talking about me being a view whore. You give an Xbox away every other fucking week. Jesus. All right, so uh, Woody, if you're watching, we sent you the link. And White Boy, do you have Google Hangouts? I don't. Okay. Uh, then we'll keep. Yeah, I have to uh, on the phone too. But, uh, no, it's 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 just it's funny to me. I mean, to me, it's entertainment. You know, like I said, I don't know if you heard me before. Things, but you know, I respect what you do. Don't get me wrong. I, you know, a lot of people like being in your position. You know, but. It's just when you complain about like your taxes and, and all that shit, like when, when the taxes are your problem, I mean, you make all that money, you know you gotta pay your taxes, so you know you can't complain about that. You know, all I'm saying is, is is you complain about a lot of the things that a lot of people would love to be in your position, and, and you make it seem like it's such a terrible, terrible, terrible life. And you, you know what you make it seem like? You make it seem like I've never worked a real fucking job. On three hundred dollars a week. And, and 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 you complain and you make a lot more than that. It's it, it's a, it's a terrible terrible argument. No no no, you're making it seem like I've never worked a real job before. The reason that I have worked a real job is the reason I don't want to work a real job again. 
And I get, well, why am I even calling it a real job? YouTube is a real job. It's a complicated job. It's not a job where you think I sit down and play fucking Call of Duty all fucking day. Most of my day is spent around either figuring out topics, trying to find some sort of trend, or doing something like that. You know why White Boy's channel is so centered around everything else? When PewDiePie got popular, he started doing Slender Man. With all this other stuff. I mean, it's just following trends. Wings, 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 bro. We, we understand that like we've all worked regular jobs before, okay? It's not like we went from living at our parents' house to making YouTube videos. We worked real jobs. Yeah. What we do obviously does it does take time, it does take effort, but it, it's pr it's pretty easy. It's pretty Wait, easy. How many videos you put out this week? Uh, it's not fucking backbreaking work. It doesn't matter if it's labor or backbreaking work. You know, if I see a person digging a ditch, you don't. You know what I don't think? That's a hard worker. I think that's somebody that fucked up in his life. Right. Um, guys, if you're just tuning in, we have uh, Wings of Redemption. We have um, Woody here. We have Only Use Me Blade, DJ Keemstar, Scott K. Martin. On the phone on Skype, we have White Boy 7th Street and uh, Deranker. And uh, we're just basically uh, speaking about some big drama that's been going on on Twitter tonight. Now, El Prestador is saying to Wings that he's turning you in to the FBI Wings for a threat <laughs> on his family. What are your thoughts on that? My thoughts, no are, my thoughts are what Woody's doing is laughing because <laughs> if he wants to take it to that level, the fact is he supported me killing myself, which is the Megan Meyer case, which is already something I can reference in a court of law, versus you know superficial false things. I mean, yes, I did say, oh, you know, suicide kill, but guess what? I was doing it in a fucking joking manner. And even then, I even went on so far to say it was a joke. Because he, at no point, took it as a threat means it holds no validity. Wings, can I ask you a question? Yes. All right. So when I was watching the Twitter feed unfold, like this is how it played in my own head. I, I saw you, know, you upset. And I know you, right? You're a guy who thinks a little bit short term. You know, when cash comes in the bank, you feel wealthy. When the bills roll in, you feel broke. When the views are high, you feel, you know, if you have a good day view-wise, you feel like things are awesome. If you have a single bad day view-wise, you worry that the world is crashing. So I watched you on YouTube and I thought, you know what? He's not joking or putting on a suicide hoax. He's just a guy who has extreme feelings and expresses, like, there's no sort of long-term, you know, uh, like <laughs> moderation filter on there. Now, if I get 700,000 views today and 30,000 views tomorrow, I feel like I got 730,000 views over two days. You feel like, oh my gosh, my channel crashed today. You know, the world is ending. And so when I watched your Twitter thing I, and saw White Boy respond to it, I felt like White Boy was off target because um, he's like, oh my gosh, this guy faked a hoax. I saw it. I felt like you claimed it was a hoax as a way to change the topic and end the beef. Am I on target? White boy, your opinion? I, f I feel he was just covering his ass because he knew, he knew what he did was wrong and he got called on his bullshit. Fake but wait, I think, that it, I think the only part that was BS... That's why you're supporting him, Woody. I think the only part that was BS was when he said that you know, they were never his feelings in the first place. I think that was his way of sort of closing down the argument, of saying, all right, guys, let's lighten up. I'm finished here. You know, can we stop? Uh, can we stop the madness? Wings. It's been kind of. Uh, it's kind of been you versus the world tonight. Oh, no, uh, it's always me versus the world, dude. It's been like that for the last three years of my career. How I'm pretty. The world then. I'm pretty. I'm pretty much. You know. You know, Scarface of the YouTube community. I'm the bad guy. I'm the oh, camper. I'm the. I'm everything that personifies everything you bad. Say that, Wings. You were the Scarface of the YouTube community. That dude, if that was me, I would immediately make that my YouTube channel's tagline. <laughs> like, screw number one source of Black Ops, whatever. I'm the Scarface of the YouTube community. I, I just feel like that. Is sometimes I feel like I'm always the martyr because. Hey, uh, real quick, Deranker. Um, uh, I I don't want to be rude and hang up on you, but you've got this huge feedback coming through. Um, is there anything else that you would like to like add to this conversation? Hang on. No. I, I, to me, dude, uh, if I get the feedback, it should go away. I turn the volume down. Anyway, um, no, it's just, it, it seems like every day that, you know, we hear this, and just like what Willie said, we get 700,000, it's a good day, and 30,000, you know, I gotta kill myself. It, it's just, when you put yourself out on the internet like that, like he does, 
it's just I feel like real people are laughing at him and with him, and like I get embarrassed too. I'm like, dude, why do I even follow this fucking dude? He brings me down. But again, going back to what I said, I respect what he does. I just think. I just think he doesn't get it. You know, he doesn't uh, like like uh, White Boy said. Be grateful for what you have. Um, real quick, Wings, you said that this is the hardest job ever. Now, what other jo- what other what other jobs have you done? What other kind of work have you done? Are you talking to Wings? I didn't. Yeah, know. He's, yeah. Talking, he's talking. He's talking to me. I was a um, I was an apprentice melt engineer, and I was also a melt deck operator. And and that work was actually easier than what what it was more physical labor and it kind of it kind of ruined my knees and stuff like that. But the fact is, I never had to worry about you know how much taxes I got to take out this time. I never had to worry about is this content creative. I never had to worry about if I don't if I don't do this, I'm not going to get paid. I never had to worry about anything like that because somebody else worried about. I it. will I I will I have to back you up on this wings. Um, when you work for someone, it's like completely reliable. You know what your paycheck is. You go to work. You somebody tells you what to do, and then when you're doing YouTube, it's your own business. All right. It's, you, to, you do worry a lot. I there's mean, no, there's nobody that wakes up next to me in the morning like, okay, Jordy, we're going to do this, this, and this, and this. You got to do it this, 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 and way. I have to I mean, do that everything is, that, that way. Is, that, that is in a it's way. It's a but mentally that, frustrating job, and I don't care anybody who's ever done this has never got mentally frustrated with it. Well, what about the freedom that we have, though? You know, the, the freedom is nice, but the fact is, doesn't make it the fact is still not a mentally frustrating job. Also, the freedom I think varies from commentator to commentator. Like, and I'm not calling anybody out, right? But like, I, I watch Syndicate, for example, and Syndicate is able to take any aspect of his life and successfully bring that to YouTube. You know, if he's on a trip, everybody wants to see him on a trip. If he's, you know, playing video games, everybody wants to see him on, on video games. People follow that. For Wings, it's like he has to make four Call of Duty videos a day Can I address to, this? to make ends meet. Time out, time out. Can I address mm-hmm. this? I don't, I strongly disagree with the whole you have to put out four videos a day. Why do you strongly we'll go against that? some YouTubers that put out one home run video a week. Yeah, but the fact is, I'm not those YouTubers. And the fact is, I made I made choices in my life that put me in this situation. I, those are my choices. Uh, but and I understand people. I'm saying though, if you were to, if you were to put out a uh, one one video a day instead of like three or four, whatever. You All right, Blade. Let me look at it this way. I did my million view video about four or five days ago, and it was a good video. It got a lot of good reception. It even made it to the top ratings on YouTube. That video stayed as my only video for three days, and it got forty. 8,000 views, I think. It's a little higher than that now. Okay. So you're trying to say that the video it took me most of the night to do is a home run video, but I can't live on 50,000 views in like four days, where I could have done three or four videos that got 20,000 views and, you know, tri- doubled my income. Right. See, now here's the, here's the thing, Wings. I mean, is there any way for you to just stop caring about this stuff and just have fun again? Dude, I think I've got, I've gotten to a point where this is a straight up job and there's no fun to be had in it. Because I wake up every day thinking I, I got a question. I got a question for Wings. It's a serious question. I'm not being a dick or anything. But I mean, where do you see yourself in like five years? I mean, not everybody can be the Simpsons. I mean, you're not gonna be able to do this for twenty years, right? I don't plan on doing this for 20 years. No, I don't. What I plan on doing is working my way into a slumlord type position, or even that, just working my way to a, uh, just trying to work my way to my bills are paid down so I can work a $10 an hour job and just pay utilities. That's that's my goal in life. Slumlord is a landlord that doesn't take care of the properties. It's usually not one that someone aspires for, but <laughs> yeah, but it, it's more of a joking title. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a slumlord is like owning a bunch of like shacks with broken yeah, windows. You basically buy like ten, around. twenty thousand dollar trailers, and you buy the land, and you just rent them out for more than you have into them. That's and eventually, it, it's not a dream. It's just it's just a goal. Yeah. I don't inspire to be this person that owns a mansion. I don't. Money. The only reason money is important to me at this point is because I owe the government money, and that's that's a situation of my own. Because at one point in time in YouTube, I was only making enough money to support a family, but I had a family I had to support since I was the only income. That was back when Ashley and her two kids, which again is my choice, and I made that mistake. So guess what? I'm paying for that mistake now. 
And when I get frustrated when I can't meet ends of my own requirements, it happens, and there's only one place I can vent to, which is Twitter. Since I don't have a bunch of real-life friends, I spend my days making four or five Call of Duty videos. All I have is these fucking walls. You see these walls? This I, is what I, I see every day. Can I give you a little input? Um, I did YouTube for fun um, with uh, the FAG, Federation of Asshole Gamers. That was just for fun. We got partnered, but we didn't really make any money, and I never tried to make money from YouTube. I always made money other ways, whether it be, you know, doing a live stream and being partnered there or, you know, people would donate to me, whatever. There was a hundred different things that I did for money. I never depended on YouTube. And now, like... I don't have an issue with Wings trying to make... that. That's my only source of income. Is I don't have a problem with that either. I respect that. I have no problem well, with making money off YouTube. I'm not, what, what I'm saying is there's... The there's other ways to make money you don't have to depend and stress on YouTube and I'm telling you right now me and him are doing this bad kid show and we're not making any money like it's it's not even partnered or anything I, I understand that I do a what? show too that doesn't make no money <laughs> we're having fun. let me jump in for a second uh, hold on we're having fun though there's a couple things I've heard that that I want to talk about one earlier I said I thought white boy was off target for getting mad at wings saying the whole thing was a hoax and I, I think that we've seen tonight that I was on target with that. That that you know he wasn't hoaxing. He didn't make up the whole thing in an attempt to get attention because ever since then he he's been kind of burying his soul. He did it, and then he his shit got caught. People were talking shit, and then he backed out. He obviously fucking faked it for views. That's the only reason he white did. Boy, white boy, no, 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 white no. boy, white boy, fucking suicide attempt. Boy. White boy, white boy. How many views do you think that suicide attempt is going to actually get? The fucking tweets. Because How many views do you think it's going to get? Give me a number. Why would you delete the tweets unless you weren't? If you were. Why did I? Why did I delete the tweets? Because I didn't want more people to see them tomorrow and bring it back up. Because I wanted to bury it. That's why I deleted tweets. Now, how many views do you think I'm going to get off of that tweet? You're probably getting a quick thousand, and then you got to lose 500 long loyal subscribers. And yeah. So why would it? Why? What? Where in your brain does that calculate me doing it for views? If I wanted to do it for views, I would have got on the webcam. And like, and started fake crying and talk about I'm gonna put oh, a gun stop, in my mouth. Stop, stop it. So, so what really happened was Wings was venting on Twitter, and then things got hot, and he said, "Just kidding, guys," and deleted the tweets. Right? No, uh, no. He he was like, "Oh, suicide! Give me views." That's what I fucking. Know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, just don't, I don't understand how you how you can contemplate that. Sympathize with me and try to. Be... It's fucking. Can I... I really wonder where white you know, boys. No, in a, in a way, me. in a way, wings, you're kind of like raw instinct because you copied exactly what Elky David did. <laughs> oh my lord! <laughs> and, and with regards to social media, White Boy Seven Street is the smartest guy on this call, and I sometimes wonder if he jumped in this Twitter beef for his own so like entertainment. To get views, I'm smart. But I don't fucking, maybe I'll fucking put a category, I'll look how the rankings are looking. Maybe I did that back in the day. But I would never stoop as low as the fake a suicide to get some sympathy <laughs> views and to get attention on Twitter. I wasn't White implying boy, that you were, right? White boy, would you sneak as low as an would you sneak as low as you've seen an opportunity to take a contending commentator out of the game? Fucking bullshit, okay. man. Uh, wait, 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 wait! I wasn't implying that White Boy would do that. That wasn't I was. my goal. I was. Well, I, that's well, what you, I've seen. <laughs> well, I won't. I won't co-sign on that. But um, uh, <laughs> right? that's what, that only gives me blade line. But uh, what I was saying is, I can't. Sometimes I can't tell if if White Boy is like, aha, you know, here's um. I think I, I was wrong. At first, I thought White Boy was like, yeah, Twitter beef. You know, this will be fun and, and self entertaining. And now I think maybe he he has ag genuine passionate feelings about it. Suicide's not a joke. You telling me? I'm the, you know, this is my area of expertise. I mean, there uh, there are there there is like seven million people or seven billion people on the world, and we are overpopulated, though. That's a that's oh my gosh, joke, it's a reasonable. I mean, there's a lot of things you can take out of context and say it's not a joke. I mean, like you did a video of the day on condoms. You know, busting condoms aren't a joke. Busted condoms leads to babies in dumpsters. Busted condoms leads to unwanted teenage pregnancies. Those aren't a joke. Why are you doing a condom video? I mean, you can take anything you want if you spin it the right way. There's no fucking comparison there, Wayne. It, 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 it doesn't matter. I mean, you're making a big deal. You're making a mountain out of a molehill. A chicken crossing the road is the same as a joke about suicide. There's no there comparison there. 
the, uh, I didn't hear what he said. There's no what there? Oh, comparison. Comparison. The thing is, is Wings, um, <laughs> you know, there are there are some people that do look up to you, you know, that's kind of... Who looks, looks up, up to me? I never, never seen them motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if there's one thing I learned from this podcast is that White Boy and D-Ranker would seriously benefit from some microphone talk. <laughs> uh, we have we actually have a question from a uh, holiday doc that came in via Skype, and if any other commentators have me added on Skype and you want a question for anyone here, go ahead and send it to me on Skype. But uh, go ahead, Blade. You want to read from Holiday Doc? All right. Uh, holiday Doc says, "Got a question for Wings. If you can relate it, this is what we're doing right now. How can you make seven thousand plus a month on YouTube and live in one of the lowest cost of living areas in the states?" Yet, be so broke. Maybe hire an accountant to uh, run his financials. Would it save you some money? I do have an accountant, and but I, I got my accountant after the fact I fucked up on my taxes. Um, what happens when I first started making real money on YouTube, I also took on a, basically inherited a family when I got into a relationship with Shalene. And I, I spent most of my money trying to keep her up and... Um, it, I, I wasn't really good with taxes because I just came from a job where you know everything was took out for me, so I ended up getting really in debt with the IRS. And the fact is, I have an account now and I'm back on track. I mean, I'm by no means in you know financial ruin right now, and you know even if I have a bad month this month, it's not going to be the end of me altogether. Okay. But like like Woody said, I, I am a I am a very emotional person. I go highs and lows, and the reason I go highs and lows is because. Only thing I have in front of me is YouTube. When YouTube's high, I'm high. When YouTube's low, I'm low. And that's just the way it is. I mean, I ride on my emotions. Are you having a bad month this month? Because it seems like I've seen a lot of your videos, and I they, you know, I watch the ones that usually go viral on your channel. Not viral, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I, I think I've had three viral videos, but... um, <laughs> but uh. I mean, it's been a bad month, one, because I took a vacation this month because I was getting depressed. A vacation yeah. from what? Doing four videos a fucking day for four years. I'm um, sorry, that's not like may, maybe go out to the park or something, or like take a drive. But where'd you go? Like, what'd you do I, on your vacation? I just didn't do YouTube. So your vacation was not doing YouTube. You just sit at the house. I just I just sit at the house. I've spent time with the family. Just get myself out of this room for a week. Yeah. Blade, have you never taken a mental health break like that from YouTube? Yeah, I mean, yeah, but at the same time, it's he like... He takes breaks all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it, so, like, for... for and I can't, I, can't knock, I can't knock your hustle because, like, honestly, I should be more active on my YouTube channel. You know what I mean? I'll be honest. Um, I have a question for White Boy that came in from a commentator known as Morning After Kill. He goes, what went through your head when Wings said on Twitter tonight, you fake crying when your mom's... I, did, I didn't say that. I did not say that. And when you got robbed. I did not say that. I didn't take that. I knew Wings was talking about Thunder. I didn't. I didn't take it that way. I, a lot of people did say that, and that shit right there gets me frustrated. I even said right after, like, I forgot about your video where you got your house broke into. When I when I said fake crying, I'm referring to the Slender Man videos. I have nothing to do with the, you know the house the house breaking in video. For one, the Slender thing was real. The, the, okay, the the first Slender one was real. The other ones, maybe I kind of reacted to it. I don't even know if I cried. I know I cried in one Slender video. I don't think I cried in any other ones, and that was fucking legitimate. Slender fucking scares the shit out of me. I, cry, I cried from, like, Titanic. I cried from all the types I, of shit. I cry a lot, too. <laughs> I, 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 gotta, I, I can go sit on that one. I cry a lot, too, but guess what? I played Slender Man one time, and... Yeah. After you know it, you've obviously played the game more than once. Legitimately, I'm just an emotional guy. That's who I am. I have feelings. I I gotta say, I I I, I, to cry. I honestly cried tonight when Wings was talking about suicide because without him, this uh, YouTube community would be really boring. So, as a person that loves drama and conflict and controversy, Wings number one fan right here. Don't think I'm going to start clapping with you. <laughs> I, I absolutely love this guy. All right, question comes in from Scarcasm. It's kind of already been answered, but it says, why does uh, Wings complain about income, job, and living situation one day, but the next day brag about it? Is that to me? Who's that to? It's to you. It's the same thing. I mean, like, are, 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 is this person you know mentally handicapped? I mean, I go highs and lows. Like, if I get a 200,000-view day... I'm feeling pretty fucking good, but when I get those forty-four thousand view days, you know, I'm feeling like shit. 
I mean, I just. But wait, just like wait you do you do understand that as as no matter what kind of effort that you put into your videos, there's aspects of YouTube that you don't have control over. I understand that, and that makes it more frustrating. Just like I was about to say this, like the last 17th through the 23rd, I don't even know if my views are accurate on my analytics. But the fact is, I don't know if the sub box are sending my videos through. Here's the thing, though, like. Like you can't. You talk. You talk about white boy. Like no other commentator makes videos or talks on Twitter about how many views they did this month. Well, and like white boy has Kelly to talk to. It's on your mind, but that's got, that's got to be old. I for got people listening to it. I, I, I gotta say, um, you know that the you know the whole thing is saturated, right? The whole the whole gaming community is saturated, and the reason why it's saturated, I think, is because as commentators, you guys reveal too much about the money you make. <laughs> and the stuff they do. I, 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 I'm gonna talk. I like. I know I shouldn't do Twitter. I've even contemplated deleting my Twitter many a times because it would actually help my channel. But the fact is, I don't really have anybody to vent to. Like, like you know, Woody has Jackie. You know, Alex has Kelly. Blade has Keemstar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, think, you think maybe friends with him relieve stress? You really think that's what's going on? <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm having an aneurysm. Do you know how many times he comes to me and he's like, you're an alien, you're not even a human being, who are you? Let me tell you something, hold on, hold on. I gotta say something. I, I, I laugh when I watch these bad kid podcasts, and I hear Blake complaining about you going off on your own and doing stuff without consulting him. I sit there and I laugh up my ass off. This goes back to the FAG days when you would throw shit up on that channel, it gets flagged the fuck down, and we're all like, what the fuck were you thinking? <laughs> no, no, Keith, yeah, Keith, Keith, like back on the old channel, he would call me at like 2 in the morning. I'm like, bro, what, what? It's like, it's 2 o'clock in my morning on the West Coast. It's like 5 o'clock in the morning there. He's like, let's do a show. I'm feeling it right now. I'm like, no, bro, I'm not doing a show right now. <laughs> okay, fine. I'm getting all these tweet notifications, whatever. He's doing a live show with a bunch of people I've never seen before. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> Um, I have a statement from a commentator known as Ricky Chops. It's not a question, it's a statement. Yeah, let's just go ahead and throw this out there. Don't even read it. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. really good, yeah. though. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It was a great there, There's nothing good about Ricky Chops. He he took a dig at you and the uh, statement. Oh, I, I didn't even need to know that. I knew it was a dig at me. <laughs> I it thought was, it was going to be a dig. <laughs> it was funny, though. It was funny. Well, I thought it would be It me. was really funny. Let's see what uh, Doc has to say. Uh, I guess we'll go back to Doc. Ricky Chops, go ahead. I'm sorry. Tweet it out and let everyone know what you're saying. Um, tell Wings I got a biz idea for him to invest in. He should buy a semi truck and trailer and drive it around shitty, scary places like ice roads or a highway, go through hell, and we will film it and sell it to the Discovery Channel. Gamers gone trucker. <laughs> Dude, I have enough back problems as it is. You know, uh, I was listening to you guys talk about each other, like, you know, Keemstar going off the rails or Wings of Redemption having no filter. And, dude, that's what makes YouTube so interesting, right? You know, when White Boy shows his genuine emotions, like when his house was robbed is a really good example, you connect to White Boy in a way that you don't do on television. You know, when Wings of Redemption has his highs and lows and you sit there and you ride along with them, that's why YouTube is, is awesome. And people say, oh, you need to stop this. When Wings stops that, Wings won't be Wings anymore. He'll be Wings version 2. How do you know if it's fucking fake or not? He faked it today. He's got to maybe his fucking past thing. I, I think we concluded that it wasn't fake. Uh, Let me ask you a question, White so Boy. It wasn't fake. You, you, are you suicidal? At times. For a millisecond, boy, you, yeah. White Boy, you compared Wings' uh, suicide <clears throat> statement to the fake nuke and to the raw instinct issue. Do you think this is seriously a make or break moment for Wings of Redemption? I think it is. If you fake a suicide for views, that not it, Alex, that's Alex, low or that's low. That's you're faking. You're not faking a yeah. nuke. You're faking a life. You're faking Alex, a Alex, look here. I'm a 400 pound white male that spent most of his life in a gaming room and that sees nothing. Fucking truck. Wait, I didn't hear what Alex said. I didn't either. Um, I said, no, nah, I don't know. Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> that's, sometimes that's for the best. Um, he basically, he just kept saying that uh, you faked the whole thing and you're, you're well, done. What I, what, I, what I got from that, what I caught from like the pieces that I was talking over, 
was that he that um he's upset that I spent money on myself. No, I'm saying you need you need to fake something. You need you need to do this for for your view quota for the month. You need to. There's, there's no way in hell I'm hitting my view quota. Your cancer on this fucking community. It's cancer, dude. Come on. You can't. You, you even said it yourself that I get maybe a thousand views. I'm here for the money. I do it for the money. You relate. Uh, Why do you give Xboxes you away? Decide to get money, and you just keep on doing it, and you're just gonna keep on doing whatever it is for money. And this is I'm I'm passionate about this because if we let this fucking stand, we might as let every else fucking bullshit stand. And it just it's it's not right. It's not right for the online white gaming boy, community. White boy, white boy. This is a fucking this is serious wings and you, you know what's serious is you're calling me a view whore when I make a fraction of what you make. It's not wings. It's not Um White Boy, do you think um if this is so serious, do you think there's anything wings can do to make it right? I don't know, man. I'm not a fucking PR person for wings. White boy, you still under the impression that this whole thing was calculated from the start? What was that? What uh, what he said? Do you think this whole thing was uh, uh, calculated from the start? Yeah, for views, for attention. And he and he said it was calculated. White boy. You make so much more money than me, it's, it's ridiculous. Fucking, fucking, no, 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 no. You calling me a view whore. You give away Xboxes and PlayStation cards, and you calling me the cancer on the community. Get my bank account out your mouth, please. It I don't need to get your bank account out your mouth. You're real close to me just telling you what you make, what, what people, what you actually make. That's not anybody's business, business what people make, though, Wings. I know what he makes. His contract is much different from mine. But what? Wings, he's not Wings. He's not talking about money, though. He's he not. is. He's calling me a view whore. When he said himself, I'd get like a thousand views. But You're I, a fucking I, dumbass, dude. I don't do that shit for views. If I did that shit for views, I would do it on my fucking YouTube channel. Why don't you take your one-eyed ass and learn fucking something? Quit smoking pot. Quit being a fucking high school dropout. So I think instead of going after the messenger, we should talk about the messenger. Right? Wings, look at this. Look, look here, Wings. You 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 called you called me out in my eye. I remember we had a drama back when you you called me out on I had a lisp because my my microphone would would appreciate this. My microphone wasn't as good. Why are you so materialistic? <laughs> I'm a fucking person, Wings. Like I'm a fucking person too, and you're sitting there trying to destroy my livelihood by some fucking bullshit trying to say I did some view whore and shit. Fucking suicide. Do you not understand the gratitude? of the situation you fake the suicide for views your fucking raw instinct your fucking g unit wings this is what you are this is what you brought you brought this on yourself because you need more views wings it's not all about the fucking views it's not if you take that out your mind if you just don't look at the view counter maybe you'll be happier in life maybe you will but you you're you're just so concerned about numbers on a website that it just in in, it, it engulfs you and it makes you depressed. I, wa I liked you. I liked you, Wings. I liked your videos. I was watching you back in World at War. Even though you talk shit about a lot of things that I disagree on, I like you as a person, but I lost all respect for you when you took it to the, to the next level where a human life, you fake suicide for attention. That's what a 13-year-old a girl does, Wings. You're a grown-ass man. Start fucking acting like it and stop being a fucking vagina all the time and you're so fucking emotional about it. Step back and fucking grow some fucking balls. Jeez. Back in the day, we called that get mugged the fuck off. Um... <laughs> Uh, wings, wings, we we lost wings. Okay, so what? Damn. I think. Damn wings, man. Okay, so I, I got a question. All right, the tweet that we saw wings say is basically, if he decides to kill himself, uh, he's gonna take Al Presidor with me. Did he? You keep saying that he faked the suicide. Is that what we're talking about, or was there something else that we're missing? He said something That's along the lines of suicide by cop. And the Lord took that personal. Wing said something. Yeah, he said that, and then he's like, I don't care. I'll do a suicide by cop. And oh. Yeah. So. Okay. 
Um, white boy, I don't know if you're watching the podcast, but while you were talking, Wings like excused himself, so he's he's not here anymore. Oh, he came back. Um, but yeah, I, I like the, I think the fundamental point where I veer off from what White Boy's thinking is that I feel like Wings was just kind of tweeting without thinking it through, and you think it was a sort of you know set off from the beginning to get attention. I, I'm fine with him getting attention. I'm not fine with him getting attention for a fucking fake suicide. I don't know how... It, it's not a fucking fake suicide. That's what you don't, don't fucking know. understand. I'm a suicidal fucking person. I don't Wings. like my fucking life. Wings, why do you... I, I, okay, listen, Wings. Sometimes we, as human beings, we just have to look down when things are tough and look at what we have. I know I'm sounding like a Hallmark card. What right do I now. fucking have, Keemstar? I have a fucking night full of drama. You, I have fucking El Presto trying to get big off me by threatening to put the FBI was, on me. But, but I listen, have one of the but biggest but channels but in the listen. gaming on YouTube trying to shut me down while I'm having one of the worst months of my fucking life. What do I have? Wings, think about what you just said. You said that you have El Presto trying to get big off of you. Now, do you really be do you really believe that? Do you really believe that? El Presador is a fucking leech. That's what no, he... no, no. But what I'm saying is, if if El Presador is really just trying to get big off you, that is an awesome thing. That's a compliment. It's not it? an awesome thing. It hits you all at once, dude. Have you ever? Well, you probably have. Well, you gotta really look relate. at it. Glass half full, glass half empty. You have so much, and people in this community, you know, look up to you. All right, they, they do. They do. People in the community actually look up to Wings. Wings has been around for, for forever. And as much as people battle with, with you, people do respect you. You know, and admire you. Look at how many people tune into PKA. No offense to Woody, but if you were out of it, it'd be probably like half the people there. You know what I mean? You gotta think about what you have. You put up life advice videos and people actually listen. They take your advice. You know, I mean Sometimes you just have to look at your life, look at what you have, and, and, and be grateful for it. And I think that's basically how Duranker started this whole argument with you, you know, that you do have this, this dream job, you know. You do have this epic, you know, thing that people wish they had. And, and sometimes we got to be thankful for that, you know. So the point I was trying to make. I think Keemstar made a good point, and I think he made it with a little compassion. Like, you know, I, I think there's thousands of people watching this, right? And there's tons of people on Twitter. It's hard to measure watching this, and no one's really looking at a man in pain who's having a bad night. You know, lots of other YouTubers are piling on in an effort to get attention to themselves. Lots of guys are, are doing their thing, and there aren't very many people who are looking at wings and saying, "Damn, you know, is there anything I can do to help?" You know, when you put out that suicide thing, you know, I bet you their fans are like, you, you've probably got tweets like, please don't do it, Wings. You know what I mean? I didn't get one fucking tweet. I'm sure you did. I'm sure there was someone out there that you can go was back and look at my mentions. You can look at them right now. Didn't get one tweet about what? I, well, I then missed, maybe, missed... maybe they knew you were joking. But what I'm saying is, is people do. No, people like to see me fucking fail. That's well. But you're not failing. <laughs> so that's what I'm trying to make the point here. You're not failing. It doesn't matter if I'm not failing. People want to see me fail. Fuck them. Ah, <laughs> damn man. You, I, I, it's amazing to me how long you've been on YouTube with such thin skin. Someone like you should be able to just brush off a hater like a. Dude, it's not brushing a hater off. It, you do it four or five hundred times an hour or so. It it's it gets to you after times. You know, and okay, so let me let me give a good analogy. Um, when you are famous, uh, like in the LA area, there's laws that say that if you have an agent, if you have like a publicist, then you can't charge like paparazzi for harassment because you're in the limelight. You know what I mean? You you don't have the same protections under the law than you would as a non-famous person. And that's kind of the same thing here. We're, we're, it, if you're going to put yourself out there, then you have to accept the scrutiny and, and yeah. the, the, the hate and love from the community. You can only do it so long, dude. I feel like I'm a tank for doing it for four years. 
my channel started out on hate, and even now people still think that you know I owe my channel success to Hutch. Hutch is the Hutch didn't grow my channel. I agree with it. I I don't I don't think you should have any suicidal thoughts, man, at all, at all. I tell you what, man, you just sign your channel over to me and give me the password, and I'll be real happy with your channel. Let's put that. Uh, it won't work that way. Google will shut it down. Certainly on the videos, but I'll be happy with it. What What do you think is the biggest thing, Wings, that's missing out of your life right now? What is What is the the root thing that's making you this depressed? I guess. <sighs> I mean, is there something really missing? Because people look at you from the outside and, and say, that guy's got a lot, you know? I don't know. I honestly can't answer that question. Is it, are you missing the girlfriend? I mean, I know money became a situation, but are you missing that companionship? No, dude. I've had other girlfriends since Celine. I mean, I, I can't honestly answer that. I mean, I just don't feel fulfilled. I feel like I'm going nowhere. Wings, can, can, I, can I say something real quick? Um, I was over in Seattle, and I basically I lived there my entire life, never lived anywhere outside the state. And um, obviously, Keemstar is not the best PR person, but he's a solid dude. And <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can go <laughs> that. But the um, – but like – I'm, I'm just telling you what I did. Like, I wasn't necessarily happy. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I you know, doing the YouTube thing, and it sound like what everyone's telling you is that, oh, this is, you're supposed to be completely happy. And I totally understand. Like, like you feel like you're like a rut. I'm assuming. Maybe you have to change it up. You know what I mean? I start, I started doing more real life videos. I'm starting, to, you know, I'm starting to try to be healthier. You know? I understand what you're saying, Blade, but um. I feel like I can't stop doing what I'm doing. Because Dranker, you have a Dranker, Dranker. Uh, we got to let you go, Dranker. The the background new, noise is just too much. All right. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, Wings. What were you saying, Wings? The, um, I know I need to make a change, but, like, I also know I'll never get this opportunity again. And through that... I keep pushing myself forward going through it. Like, the change I need to make is I need to quit YouTube. But, like, I don't... I mean, I don't... I don't me, personally, I don't think... I, like, I'm just saying, so I don't think you should quit YouTube. I'll, I'll quit YouTube if you quit YouTube. I'll quit YouTube. Fuck that. You had me move across country. Talk, I'm just wait, saying, this go. guy is... Okay, out of anyone... out of, And I mean this. I'm not just saying this. Out of everybody in the community that there is, all right... Wings of Redemption is my famous uh, is my favorite, and the reason why, and the reason why he'll always be my favorite is because he always stirs up the pot. All right, like him and, actually, him, and El Prestor, him and El Prestor are my favorites because they entertain me. They entertain me. I, I, I personally, I don't think you should quit YouTube. There, there's no reason to quit YouTube. But yeah, there's no reason to quit YouTube. That's the point. But at the same time, it makes me so like viscerally unhappy. And like, that's the reason I took the vacation. Like, I just wasn't happy. You're grumpy bear. White boy. Um, now that you see Wings is really, really upset, and you know, maybe it is true that he's contemplating, like, you know, having suicidal thoughts or whatever. Has your opinion changed? Because I don't think he's faking it right now. I don't. I don't think he's faking it either. But he faked it earlier, and I just had. I just wanted to make the the point that. That it, faking a suicide for views is not acceptable in, in my eyes, and I know I know me more than most people. We I did some some stuff to get some views, and I'm here now. But I, I just wanted to make that point that it, it soon not come to that where we're faking suicide for attention. That's unacceptable. And wings, no one wants to see you quit YouTube. Maybe you just need to. Uh, approach it in, in a different light, and I know money is a big factor. Money keeps food on the table and keeps the wheels rolling. But Alex, yeah, like, you know, you know as good as anybody. I don't care about money. I mean, I even gave you the money back that you sent for me for eating the chili peppers. If I if I cared about money, I would have been a whore then. I, money is just something I have to make do, to make ends meet. And at this point in time in my life, I need to make more money than I would, you know, if 
five years ago. I was perfectly happy, you know, with the money I had when I worked at the steel mill. But the fact is, I didn't enjoy how the steel mill made me feel in my body. You know, my back hurt, my knees hurt, and stuff like that. So I decided to move on to something else. Where's your charger? One thing, I mean, I don't, I don't want to talk business on, on here, but I don't see you promoting anything, Wings. Maybe if, you, if you're if you looking for extra money, maybe you should promote some, some things. Know, nobody will touch me because I'm so out there. Like, I, I, I don't really try to stir the pot. It just happens. <laughs> that's, that's exactly. Um, that's what's endearing about Wings of Redemption, right? I mean, he's not filtering what he's doing, and uh, you know, <laughs> sometimes it creates trouble, and and sometimes it creates entertainment. And, I mean, that's what you get when you watch Wings videos. You you get the the corest of his core of thoughts and emotions. That's what you're seeing right now. He's getting an extension cord. Uh, guys, um, we're calling El Presador now. You want to say, El Prez, do you have something to Yeah, you're, you're live on the air, Prez. You're not getting Yes, they can hear you. Can you put the speakerphone closer to the mic? Yeah, we can hear you. Can you hear him, guys? Yeah, but you're too lazy, and I also know that. <laughs> it sounds like you're really you're really concerned with all the threats I give to you. You're really hostile towards me, so. Uh... Did you hear him, Wings? You won't. Have fun with that, Opressor. Let me let me let me tell you what you did, Opressor. What you tried to do is give me an opportunity to back out, so you could basically make a video saying that you punked me. Keemstar, can you make this better somehow? Do you have any ideas? Um, well, see, the thing is, is that um, El Presidor, I try to get El Presidor on Skype uh, millions well, he's of too times. Stupid to understand I'm not how talking to about the mic up. quality. The whole situation is kind of over here. He's, he's trying to end his career. He's trying to call the FBI. Okay, he's putting but... him in spots where he has to either cower or you know, face his wrath. What can we do? <laughs> The thing is, is I okay. I'm gonna play mediator here for two seconds. I am highly entertained by uh, Wings of Redemption and El Presador equally, and I feel like to to be fair to all parties, that I should let everyone have a, a voice of of some sort. Because I mean, we kind of agreed if we we're gonna do this, we we're gonna stay neutral, right? Yeah. So. I mean, El Presador, are you actually going to be turning wings in? So if so, you're doing it on principle. If if wings were to apologize, well, 
El Presador. I would also like to note that you uh, basically supported me in my suicide reigns, which is also a federal offense. You ever heard of a case called Megan Meyer? And you also threatened my life. You basically instigated me in taking my own. You know, I never thought it could be imaginable that you are so illiterate that you could barely speak English. Did he said if you apologize, he'll give you a chance to get out. Why are we even having this conversation? Just like I said, it's El Presidor trying to use this to get publicity. But 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 wings. The fact is, the threat is nonviolent at this point. But there wings, is. you do. I didn't understand where he said. What was the question, El Presidor? Did you hear him? No, I didn't. What did he say? He said if he was trying to do it for publicity, wouldn't he make a video about it and not do it on Skype or on Twitter? Who's to say he's not going to make a video about it? El Presser, let me ask you this. <laughs> At any point in, in, in this night, have you felt like your life was going to be taken from you? Yeah, yes. And um, am I going to do this from Myrtle Beach? I mean, okay, so to be fair to Al Prez, though, you did say if you commit suicide, you're taking him with you. You know what I mean? Uh, because El Presto is one of the main instigators of my of my frustration. Like, generally, when I'm feeling bad, he's the person there to try to kick you when you're down. Why don't you get that he's just a troll, and he says he's trolling you while he's doing it, and you still... Right into it. You're feeding him, Wings. You're feeding the troll. I understand that. Then why don't you just stop? Be because I, it's not built into me to stop. It's not. <laughs> I'm sorry to jump in, but that's that's totally the answer, right? You know, I kept all night long. I've been saying it. You know, Wings tells you exactly what's on the tip of his tongue. It it doesn't ever stop there. It's what makes his channel great and what brings the hardship to him that he's feeling right now. El Prez, um, is, is, so he, he said, you know, basically everyone's saying that you're just trolling him. Are you trolling him? Wings, wings, was, was it an actual threat or were you joking? Dude, do you think I'm going to go to Ohio? My back hurts enough to drive to the fucking Conway. <laughs> El Presidor, I don't even know where you live. The fact is, you say that's the case, it's going to go to trial, and it's going to waste both people's money. They're going to ask me, where does Mr. El Presidor live? And I'll be like, somewhere in Ohio. <laughs> I mean, we, all you're doing is what you're doing is race, wasting resources. Okay. Pre the fact is, it's such an idle threat that it's almost elementary. It's comical. You, wings, wings, and this is going back to my point. You put him, killing him and suicide in the same sentence, and you said it's comical. I'm a, I, I don't like that. Wings, like that. wings. What I think, <laughs> wings. Why do I don't like you giving away extra? Um, um, <laughs> All right, wings, <laughs> wings. <laughs> Here's my opinion, and, and, you know, I'm not the greatest PR person in the world, but I think because it could be considered as a serious threat, I think the best thing to do would be to apologize for the suicide comment and apologize to Alprez, and then I think the issue's just dead.
You know, because you 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 don't really you're not really gonna kill El Prazador. You're not gonna kill him. You you didn't really Team need Star. to kill him. So I think you should let everyone know that and say you're sorry. Game Star, do you remember when you had beef with me? Yes, I do. And I pretty much got all your information and read it out to you on a video. Yep. I was more I was closer to uh, doing you than ever El Prazador. So you were gonna kill me? <laughs> no, he was gonna do you. I mean, we're talking about this. it's totally different. <laughs> He's gonna seduce the shit out of you. <laughs> He's gonna lick your earlobe. He was coming because you you were trying to take my livelihood from me at a period where I had just gotten out of a hellhole, and like I would have had nothing left at that point. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, me and Wings had a battle. That was back in the FAG days. What? El Presidor? I'm just saying, El Presidor, don't don't you always go after wings? No, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying to wings, why was he going after me and uh, trying to kill me? Because you were jumping in when I was upset at the height of upsetness. Upsetness? Well, you know If I could urge in any commentators that are out there that uh, have questions for uh, any of the people on the show, go ahead and send them to me via Skype. So, uh, Wings you're, is not going to apologize. So, what are you going to do from here, Al Prezor? Sleep, so yeah, sleep on it. You're gonna, you're gonna sleep on it. I could see El Presidor's next video of him, like, getting his apartment ready for the Wings invasion. <laughs> I want to see him get attacked by random people on the street. I've been waiting for the I've been waiting for the El Presidor video of, like, the dead, you know, the evil dead where the woman gets, like, beat up by the trees. Like, all the trees coming back and haunting El Presidor. So Wings just gave you a compliment, kind of. We have an out. We have a resolution. We have a resolution. Can you tackle a tree again? <laughs> yeah, I want. Can we get, can we get some. We get some chair and some tree attacks. So, so El, Wings, Wings, El Presidor, this is a breakthrough moment. El Presidor said, let's sweep it under the rug. What do you think, Wings? That seems, that seems like a good idea to me. It seems like a lot of headaches avoided. Bam. There you go. Bad kid show. Bam. And give me a pre <laughs> tackling video. Man, I love that. That's how I found you, El Pres. And can you please dive in more rivers? <laughs> All right, El Prez, we're going to let you go. Thank you for calling in. See you, man. All right, um, El Prezador. Well, that was good. That was good. That's the, we're, that's the, the battle is over now. Uh, White Boy, uh, have, have your thoughts changed about anything? No, I still think bacon suicide abuse is, is wrong and should not be stand for. That's my conflict and boy, boy, thing. That's what you, I want to stand against. Boy, boy, you can hear me, right? I can. Okay, I, I didn't know. Anyway, um, you still think that the whole suicide thing and the anger was calculated from the start? He admitted it was, and you said it was as well. No, I didn't. <laughs> All right, people watching know that, that, that he was wrong about what he just said right there. I have a way to solve all wait, this. Wait, 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 wait. We have to give him credit, though. Okay. Yes. We have to give him credit. Okay, um, a, a question or a statement came in from uh, Obey Mala. Uh, he goes, why doesn't Wings start trick-shooting? Trick-shotting. Trick-shotting. 
my connection sucks, dude. I, I'd get three fourths of a spin in and get fucking shit on. Yeah, I, I think if White Boy knew wings as well as I did, then he would never accuse him of entering these things with this sort of sort of sophisticated calculation. That you know, everything Wings approaches is with uh, you know how he feels heavy handed bluntness. Woody, Woody, Woody. <laughs> he tweeted, "LOL, LOL, JKs, check out my video. Link the YouTube video." Right, hey, and that was his. You don't know what you're not seeing here. No, so here's here's the difference. I saw that and I immediately thought, "All right, it's gotten too hot." He's looking to say, "Just kidding, guys. Stop piling on." About a suicide. Yeah, about the whole thing, you know. Like, look, you know, I, I forget it. That whole thing, you guys have just been trolled. You know, back off. That's what actually happened. Hopefully. I think this is going to have some tail to it. Okay, we're back. I think we're back. What what has happened is uh, Keem just accidentally uh, exited out of the stream, so sorry about that. But we're good now. Do, who's on the phone? Do we still have Alex? And Yeah, Alex. Alex, are you still here? I am here. Awesome. Let me just see if we are... I don't know if we're actually... I, I, I don't think this made it on the back kid show, but what Alex is saying is, like, why did I even you know, contemplate killing myself if I didn't really mean it. Whereas Woody's trying to make the point that I'm, I probably meant it, but it was a fleeting moment. <laughs> Somebody said Keem DDoSed himself. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> what does he give men um, what, did, what did we miss? I'm sorry. I interrupted everything. I'm sorry. I mean, what, what white boy doesn't understand that YouTube right now is my finest moment. It's, if you would calculate everything and make a ma like a mound or a shrine to my life, YouTube would be the top of it. Okay, but and at times I do feel long... like you know it would be better if I killed myself. But at the same time, I know a lot of people would be be saddened and a lot of people depend on me to keep going. And you know, it's what it is. I mean, I I just think you just need to change your face, bro. Like, I know you said you took a vacation, but, you know, YouTube gives you, YouTube gave me the freedom to pick up my stuff and move cross country. I say we go to Wings' house and do a Bad Kid Show episode. You're driving? We, I just say, <laughs> get, get Wings out of the room. Wings is trapped in, the, in a room, in a, in a cell. It, it's, you're making it sound like I'm trapped. I'm not really trapped. But well, I said that because that's what you the same said. Same effect. It feels like a like it feels like a, a a thirteen by ten coffin. You know, you just dredge into it every day, and like it's a big coffin. <laughs> it's one hundred thirty square feet. I know exactly because I just wasted probably fourteen hundred dollars on a floor. I'm unhappy with. <laughs> that's a two. Uh, thanks for the likes, guys. But um. You know, it's it's just a lot of things that, that it all matter. Is YouTube, you know, the views messing up? I mean, I, I I didn't expect this month to be really great view wise to begin with, mainly because I plan on taking that week off and whatnot. 
And then on top of all of that, like like even the days, you know, more shit came up, and it, it like lately it's just it, it seemed like been problem after problem after problem, and I'm the only person to be able to solve it. And then you know, I read hate comments, and then hate comments slowly tear down, tear me down, and you know, shit like tonight happens. But dude, you can't you can't let like you know how many hate comments that every single. I mean, you could say I can't let it happen, and I could say yeah, you're right. But the fact is, they're going to happen, and it's going to happen again, and it's probably going to happen even more. I mean, that's just the way I'm. Built. I mean, you don't. I've been in so much controversy. There's times when I upload videos, and there's like 10% likes, 90% dislikes, and kind of like what what I did when I decided to do this YouTube thing is I disconnected myself. Like I didn't. I, I created a character. You know what I mean? So when people were talking smack about DJ Keemstar. They were talking smack about my character. They weren't talking smack about me. So anything anyone ever said, it was never personal. It never affected me. You know what I mean? I, I disconnected myself. And you can do the same thing. There's the, this Wings of Redemption guy out there in the Internet, but is that really Jordy? You know? I hear what you're coming from, but it's not one and the same because... Through trying to make my channel to have more longevity, I introduced them to Jordy. And um, what you see is usually what you get. I'm an emotional creature, you know. I, I mean, I am me. Wings of Redemption and Jordy became the same person probably two years ago. Um. Okay, I I hear like a sound of, of I like, mean depression. Can can we say that? I'm not really depressed though. I mean, as soon as I leave this room, I'm happy. As soon as I forget all of this, I'm happy. That's why I said beforehand, and I was a little more upset that I know what I need to do. What I need to do is quit YouTube and move on with my life. But at the same time, this is the high point so far in my life. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's gonna be the only high point in my life. It's hard. It's hard to walk away from having access to fifty thousand people. It's hard to walk away from you know, basically being able to get advice at any time of the day, any day of the week. It's hard to walk away from you know, being somebody of importance to going back into a world where you're nobody. I mean, if well, I go to my personal Facebook, it's depressing because I, I will say something and nobody will respond to it. But if I put it on my fa my Wings of Redemption Facebook, it's got 40 th responses within the first hour. Um, I personally, like, worked at a bunch of different offices, uh, doing attorney offices for eight years. I worked at different ones, and every, like, two years I'd have to work at a different attorney's office and I started looking back towards the end before I got into the YouTube thing I'm like why can't I just stay at one spot and what I realized is that you know things get repetitive things get boring and now I look you know I've been on YouTube for how many years three years four years and and I've done so many different things you know we did the FAG things and then and then I'm doing like vlog things and now we're doing this bad kill Bad Kid Show thing. I've been the manager, the game promoter. I've had so many different hats that I put on. Where you wings, you've kind of just been the same guy for like five years. You know what I mean? Maybe it's time to reinvent yourself. And and I, and and the reason why I say this don't it, change, but reinvent yourself. Yeah, because you uploaded the video and you were like, I don't know what to do with my channel anymore. Like if I if I get into drama, you know, I get views. Uh, but if I just upload a gameplay, I only get ten thousand. So maybe maybe there needs to be a wings talk show. Maybe there needs to be a wings in real life thing. Maybe there needs to be something different, like reinvent yourself. You know, it's hard to do that overnight. <laughs> I mean, I don't have the luxury of like you, like um, like when 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 the FAG fell through, it could it was like a month before you came back, and then you came back with the. Alki David in the battle cam stuff, and then like that kind of died down after the suicide thing. Then all of a sudden, the bad kids show comes around a month and a half later. I can't take those liberties because so many people depend on me. Okay, well, okay, let's use White Boy for an example. White Boy did strictly gameplay, and then out of nowhere, the dude has a giant fork and he's like cooking up pancakes in a pot. You know what I mean? And, and then all of a sudden, White Boy is is a troll now. He's doing troll videos. You know, White Boy has changed I mean, so much. I don't much. know if you remember a video called Beast Mode Engaged, but I got a lot of hate for that video back in the day. I've tried troll videos. I mean, I've tried branching out. 
I've tried but, putting. But take, but take the hate. Why? Why are you? Just uh, troll videos aren't for everybody. I, I I think I'm in the same spot as Wings. There. If I were to do a troll video, they'd be like, "Woody, you horrible person! You're picking on a child, right?" That, that's how it and would people, go down. And people naturally hate me anyway. So as soon as I do anything negative, it's multiplied. Yeah, if Wings were to do a troll video, all of a sudden they'd be like, Wings, you're a meanie. Whereas White Boy can do it and they say, White Boy, you're funny. The haters, the haters, because they get to you and they hate on you. That's why they continue to come, because you're feeding the trolls. I would never, I would never ever want to be Woody's gamer tag because you're, you're, you are like a role model figure in the community and you are so like bound and you're so restricted. Like, anyone else can get away with saying crazy stuff, but you can't. Like, you can't you can't budge one bit. You're more restricted than anyone on YouTube of what you can do or say because the hate just flies in. <laughs> you know, like, hate is good. Like, you, mad, you imagine uh, Woody ever trying to make a Dildos for yeah, Africa Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if Woody did Dildos for Africa, it would be... Oh, like, there would be so much hate. It would be unbelievable. It like, was completely it was, sexist anyway. I, I mean... If I were to do it, I'd do it right and include flashlights. <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, I sometimes I feel sorry for Woody when Woody gets in drama because it's like if I did that, no one would care. Like you know. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it, that, they wouldn't care. There are people hard scoping my channel, just waiting for some reason to fuss at me, and uh, you know, oh, uh, just keep on. What going. about those people that you block every day and they keep coming back? Oh, yeah. I don't believe there oh, are that yes, many people. Yes, yes. Hey, man, I'm so glad you said that. You <laughs> and him are like, what the f*** is Wings doing? Like, Dude, why block? That doesn't make any sense. Anybody can come to my channel and say whatever they want. I don't care. That's more money. Well, I, I block him because it, it gets to me over time, and they're like, I just don't want to see this no more. Get off my channel. Your point zero 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 one. You know, damn two hundredth quarter of a penny doesn't dude, really affect me. Back in the day when Wings was building his channel, like if you said anything, you got blocked, and I never understood that because the haters, the haters are what will build popularity. Like you can literally grow from hate. I, I know it. <laughs> I've lived it. And Wings, you get so much hate, and when you when you block that person. Because a hater will leave 10 comments on the same video, right? Yeah. Where, you know, someone that likes your stuff might say, great video, Wings. But the hater has just left 10 comments. So when his friends look at his feed and they see 10 comments on one video, they're coming to find out what's going on. See, and this goes back to the disconnect, right? Wings and Me Too both have this thing where, like, you know, you watch my channel and you get to know me. And when someone hates on me, especially if they have a valid point, which oftentimes they don't, it hurts. And and as far as the recreating accounts, I just don't believe that there are like hundreds of different people that want to microwave Colin. It's got to be one guy coming back again and again. Got to be. Yeah. I understand where Keemstar's coming at, but like at the same thing, like I actually read my comments. I actually reply to them. And like, I when I'm reading and replying to comments, you know, I don't want to see, you know, hey wings, how'd that aneurysm go? You save enough for that heart attack? You know, I don't want to see that. Wings, okay. So obviously, you get a lot of comments. Like all of us on here, I think we're we're large YouTubers, whatever. Um, when we read comments, we're not reading every single letter of it. If a comment, if you know how when a comment says, uh, what was that word? It's like, I know not one, no one's gonna read this, but blah, 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 I immediately skip to the next comment. If, if a comment looks stupid, I just skip to the next comment. Not only that, but like, yeah, but someone see, will like be somewhere like, in my brain, if, if it starts out hateful, I just read it for some reason. But, okay, people leave comments, they're like, Keemstar is the biggest douchebag in the world, la di da di da Me and this guy are sitting there laughing, like, it's funny, like, I encourage people to hate me. Boy, I, 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 I'm also able to, to take it and know that's the internet. That I know that these people wouldn't they wouldn't say that if I was if I was right there. If I'm standing right next to the person, the person's not going to say that. Pointing an example. Here, here's a good pointing example. Okay. This Tyler Chanuk guy. He goes, "Zo, my God, is Hutch? Hutch? Do you know what Ward said about talking shit about you? Open his Twitter, Control F, and type Hutch." Like. Um. I mean, there's people instigating. 
Oh, Hutch has me blocked from a feud from a year ago. I can't see what he's saying. Yeah, Hutch has me blocked too, so it doesn't mean nothing. If you're blocked on Twitter, you open their Twitter in an incognito window. You can read it all. Oh, okay. Uh, incognito window? How does that work? Are you using Chrome? Yep. Control Shift N, like new. Or you can click the little wrench. Right you can click the little wrench in the top right and go incognito. Whoa. Okay. Ooh, that's some that's crazy stuff. That's, that's, that's for like cool. watching porn and stuff and you don't want your wife to find out. Yeah, no no history. Sometimes you do things on the that's internet that doesn't need to be recorded. Out. You don't need a cache of this stuff. One sec one second. I I follow Hutch on Twitter. I'll just pull him up on my phone. What do you what do you want me to find out? Uh, I just want to know what he's saying because people are tweeting me and Hutch, so obviously he's he has an opinion on the matter. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Someone in the chat wrote, Woody is pro at incognito. That's <laughs> Incognito is the mode people use to jerk off. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. The Almighty Hutch said, Tonight is what happens when social media collides with people who are unstable. This is not entertainment. Hutch, I disagree with you. There's a reason why reality television has trumped every form of entertainment and TV. Uh, I did agree with you. Housewives I, of New Jersey is huge, and I hate so, that. Uh, Hutch, I'm sorry, but... That's a personal thought, not a fact. I think highly of Hutch in a lot of ways, but he would be a greater man if he didn't pile on every day. You know, if he didn't tweet out, done, run out of sympathy for this. If he didn't tweet out, when, you know, when Wings is at his lowest, this is not the opportunity for you to find negative things about him. Well, at least I'm going to give him credit. He at least didn't hashtag me, so <laughs> it didn't matter. Hutch is uh, very opinionated, though, too, and I mean that's he's he's another person that I I respect for just saying I, what he needs to say. I consider the Hutch the skinny version of me. <laughs> <laughs> what? He, he does the same way. He's 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 an emotional creature. He has highs and lows, and like he he, he amplifies everything that happens. That's a good point. That, that is Hutch is wired the same way, you know. He, what, what is your next comparison to figures in the community or movies? <laughs> what sports star do you think you resemble? Um, God, what sports Dennis star? Rodman. I was going to say Dennis Rodman. Oh, uh, and it's not oh, Dennis Rodman. I can't think of his right. name right here. It's uh, God, it's the tennis dude that always gets mad. John McEnroe. John, John McEnroe. McEnroe. Okay. Uh, Obey Agony says, uh, question for my vid, why is... Okay, uh, he actually says, please dance for me. That's a Keemstar and Blade request. Yeah, Blade's wow. the, going for the new dancing title, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Blade. Uh, I, I'm, I'm about to change. When, when do we I'm get sorry. to see you dancing? Yeah, you that was... Um, there's not a set date, but there. I will find... Actually, give me one second. I'll, I'll get an exact date when you can see me dancing. <laughs> uh, I'd like to take this moment to let everyone know that I am competing against um, Pro Syndicate's girlfriend on the most pictures of myself on Instagram. So <laughs> not on Instagram. By the way, I, I, I love uh, I love Syndicate and his girl, but um, we are in a real competition. So I just want to put that out there. Um. Wings, uh, after everything that's happened tonight, and I forgot that we still have White Boy here, uh, every, after everything that's happened tonight, do you feel better? Like, is, is this conversation changing your outlook, or are you still kind of in that slump? I mean, like, I can't lie to you. I mean, like, I feel the same as I always feel after a big, big thing. I feel like, man, I shouldn't have done that, and, like, and just move on, but, like, well, I mean, you know that people are going to bring this up like a month from now still. You know, it's well, just... Yeah, people still bring up the syndicate. Thing. Hell, people still bring up the Hutch thing. So it, it's something you're going to... I'm going to deal with. I mean, like, you made your bed, you got to lie in it, and that's what I, I end up having to do. I seriously think that there's people out there and there's fans out there that, you know, honestly want you to feel better, you know, that, that, wanna, that don't want to see you like this. They want to see you happy, you know? Wings, I, when you were getting upset earlier, I was just watching the likes on your video pour in. Like, you know, it, it, there's a lot of people. It was like all fun and games until they saw the real pain. Yeah. <laughs> the, the thing that bothered me is like, 
the video I uploaded during the middle of the hate is almost more ratings than the videos of me, you know, promoting and all doing all this. And it's like I feel like I don't get noticed unless something is, you know, negative towards me. Um, I love the wings in real life videos. Yeah, I I, I like swear. those too, but I can't do three a day. Why not? I mean, like, what what am I gonna do for three a day? Oh, what's up, guys? You know, I, there's, there's so many times you can see me lift that don't that that uh, that little um, we, what uh, it's called. Okay, Barbell. Keep, keep and I talk about this all the time because, like, we I actually find that the best conversations I have with this guy are on the podcast. They're like in the car, in the car, like going somewhere, and we end up having a, a ridiculous conversation that ends up being gold. GoPro with a mount inside the vehicle when you're driving and just talk to the people. I mean, but that thing sounds like shit. Here's the, okay. Listen, listen. That That's might be true, true, but, true. but but you can you can figure out something. I wish we had someone that knew stuff when, about mics. When Wing says, <laughs> uh, "I made money today because I went and picked up scrap metal. I picked up all old washers and dryers and turned them in for money." I want to see that. I want to see Wings out there. No offense, but I want to see big Wings sitting there shuffling around, you know, uh, a, a stove or, or a washer or dryer, like putting it in the truck. You know, I want to see him actually going to the place, getting the money, like getting the money. Like that's reality TV. I want to see stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a cool idea, but like you run into all kinds of problems. I'm just probably making excuses at this point. But um, like you you gotta want you gotta get permission to film on certain places. Like like I said, the GoPro idea. I've had that GoPro idea. Like I love doing the vlogs from the car because it, it combines two of the things I love to do. I love to drive. I love vehicles, and I love you know blogging all together. I mean, I'm a pretty talkative guy. I'm one. Of, I'm a person that can talk for thirty or forty minutes to a camera without stopping on one take. But like I said, the GoPro's got such shitty ass quality, dude. Like I even bought fucking. The uh, well, mics. See, you don't need a GoPro. I mean, you can get. Uh, I have a GoPro. Well, you can get well, like one of these Canon uh, cameras or whatever, and you can just get a mount for it. Like that. Yeah, I'm sure you can buy a mount if you go on Amazon. That's a big camera for a mount. I take a hell of a mount for a windshield. White boy, uh, you have tons of uh, ideas for videos. Do you have a suggestion for Wings to reinvent himself? Like and favorite the game show. <laughs> what is the White, game show? White boy's control shift ending it right now. <laughs> I stole that joke from the comments. I, I apologize to whoever I stole that from. I mean, Wings, you can do anything, man. I, I told you you should build a chair. I would like to see you build a chair, live stream building a chair. You never did the alligator hunting, which uh, was a huge disappointment. I, I'm still going to try to do the alligator hunting, but the, like, stuff's came up in my life that I can't really talk about about that. And like, I seriously can't talk about that kind of stuff because of... Um, you know, respect out of other family members. But like, I'm going to do the gator hunting. Like, um, but around here, it's you got to do it in August. Uh, so right now is generally the the down season. What you got to do in August 10th? There's a class you have to take. I met, do that I class, met. you got to pretty much apply for uh, tags. Um. So we have straight up knives. Uh, talking some smack via Twitter. He's basically saying, you know what this is? A bunch of bunch of washed up YouTubers uh, that's just wanting attention. And uh, I can't read that. Can you read it? His phone is broken so much. And there's so many hey, cracks. Hey, 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 Can I field this question? Can I field this? Straight up knives. Man. Exactly. Exactly. Straight up, straight up knives. You you feel like you're this fresh and up and coming face right now because you haven't hit the block. You're eventually going to hit what you call a rider's block, or you know, some kind of roadblock that's going to slow down. Your channel's growing like mad right now, but eventually that life cycle ends, and somebody else comes up that's fresh and a fresh new face. Steve Young isn't the quarterback for the 49ers anymore. I don't even know who is anymore. But the fact uh, is, there is a new one. Straight up knives. I just I got to say something to you, dude. I've never seen one of your videos, but according to your Twitter, you're watching me right now. Thanks. Did he steal your name? Like it's kind of like 
I, well, well, if I made myself keem of redemption, you know what I mean? He, <laughs> could, he could do whatever he wants. Like, I don't, like, I don't care. Like... I didn't invent. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to say, just, just don't feel, don't feel like you're special because you're hot right now. Being hot right now doesn't mean nothing. I was hot at the beginning of Modern Warfare Two. I was growing like fourteen thousand subs a day. I grow like a hundred nine now. I mean, I, I just don't like. I don't. I don't have. I don't have any issues with the kid. You know what I mean? But like, uh, I don't. I don't know where this all of a sudden this stuff's coming on Twitter. You know what I mean? And why do you? Add, and why do you add us though? Like, just actually add my name or Keemstar's name. I don't. I don't understand that. Yeah, uh, I, I have no issue. I have no issue with the kid. I don't watch his videos. I even helped him. I even did a video for him. Didn't you try to help him out? And now he's. You know, I always find it's funny when a bigger YouTuber helps out a smaller YouTuber, and then when they start growing, they feel a little ballsy and they want to talk shit about him. It's like, bro, does that, I really happen? Out. Does that happen? Ricky, Ricky chops Ch Ukrainian limbs. Obviously, Jesus. Um, <laughs> you know, like, Mr. Three Hundred and Sixty Beast. Mr. Three Hundred and Sixty Beast. He was my first <laughs> hater. Yeah, I get. I have. <laughs> I had like eight thousand subs. He had one. I gave him a dual com, and uh, you know, I I don't know. We drifted apart. Four months this? later, Woody doesn't remember his roots or where he came from. I'm like, what the? <laughs> Was I supposed to be lifelong friends? I mean, Ricky Chops. We pretty much launched his channel off Painkiller already, didn't oh, we? We used to pimp that guy all the time. And now, now he's like a fucking professional hater. He doesn't have any honor. That's the deal with him. Oh, he, he just, you know. Stabs people in the back. He, he, you know, he was <laughs> he was trying to make friends with me after the you know bumping thing. He just wanted more shout outs. That that guy will say and do anything for views and subs. I'm telling you right now, Ricky Chops hates the fact that he did that. <laughs> I know he does. I think he's actually Ricky Chops. Going, I'm gonna, let me give him a reason to hate. Ricky Chops is that guy that runs behind your back and tells the boss that you took a staple off somebody else's desk. That's who he is. And he was taking the staples the whole time. <laughs> yeah, Ricky Chops bumped the whole time. Ricky Chops bumped the morning that he made that video and then stopped. Yo, <laughs> can I please say what Ricky Chops said to me on on, on Skype? And can I please say it and have yeah. him respond to it? All right. Sure. <laughs> Ricky Chops said that you need to revive. Here, let me read it word for word. I, I don't want to misquote somebody because I mean, as you know, as a troll, I thought it was hilarious. He goes. I don't have a question, just a comment. Tell Wings I can help him revise his Monster.com resume. He can yeah. thank me later. I'm sorry, that was good. I saw that. He tweeted that. I didn't even get it. He can help him revise his resume. Monster.com is where he used to go to find jobs and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> he went out of business. <laughs> oh, that they went out of business? Yeah. Oh, Monster.com went out of business? I'm pretty, pretty sure uh, they did. I haven't heard about them in a while. Let's see. Their website. Yeah. All right. Um, I think. Uh, you, yeah. Yeah. Um, guys, no, uh, if you're new to the Bad Kid Show, subscribe. Me and him do podcast here. Uh, we have YouTube.com/slash Woody's Gamer Tag as a guest. We have YouTube.com/slash Wings of Redemption. Uh, YouTube.com/slash White Boy Seven Street. We had YouTube.com/slash okay. well, Press ev Everyone that was in the show, we'll we'll put them in the links in the description. And let, let, let's give Straight Up Knives a little shout-out. Let, let's yeah. get, throw him some stuff to what, what, what's There you go. I'm, what, give, I'm giving you a shout-out, buddy. No hard feelings. Yeah, go help out Straight Up Knives. I, what does that guy do? I don't, he's I don't a, he's a troll. I don't troll watch him either. So, and and that's, that's not a diss. Uh, dude, dude, Chuck, I think his name is Chuck. That's not a diss to you, bro. It's just like, like I, I, I like to watch entertaining videos, and they're not entertaining to me. His name's Chuck. And, and that's uh, I think his name is Chuck. <laughs> I even like this is a good faith thing. This isn't me trolling him. This isn't me saying like he's bad or anything. That he's he has a successful YouTube channel and he's good at what he does. He I even commentated a video for it's, him. It's funny because he him. goes he he has a successful YouTube channel. He's good at what he does. I don't know what he does because I don't watch his videos. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't really watch a lot of videos. I maybe I maybe watch like five six people. It's not it's not a dig at him. You know what I mean? I mean I I commentated the thing for him. I just wish that um. The people that troll on YouTube nowadays would be real trolls, and I'm gonna leave it at that. Love hey, you guys. Thanks, Swings, Woody, White Boy, everybody. Thank you guys. Subscribe to the Bad Kid. Hold show. up, hold up. We got to do a real topic before we leave. What's the what microphones? Oh, <laughs> is that where you were headed? The how GoPro. About, how about what do you think about the uh, Kanye West sex tape? <laughs> There's a hey, Kanye you West. You know what? 
in all seriousness, before we go, you guys are judging the GoPro by the microphone while it's in the waterproof enclosure. You got to take it out. The mic is better than you think. Bad kid show. How, how do you mount it to? A, how do you mount it to a windshield with it out? <laughs> That's tough. Did anybody see the video of the GoPro that got picked up by a seagull? No. Dude, it's going viral on YouTube right now. Please check it out. Guy's got a GoPro on the beach recording a sunset. Seagull comes up and picks it, takes it across the water, and lands it like 200 yards away. It's crazy while it's filming. All right, that's it, guys. See ya. Peace.